storm made a big mess overnight on High Island near Bolivar Peninsula. That's right. Large rocks covered the main road there, causing it to shut down for several hours. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers joining us now live from High Island with what that road looks like now. Brittany. Yeah, people who live on the Bolivar Peninsula slowly been making their way back to their homes this morning. You talk about Highway 87, it's since reopened, but I want you to take a look at this particular stretch right here just hours ago was covered with rocks and debris. You're not going to beat Mother Nature. You're not going to beat Mother Nature. David Rieger says he knows better than to try. He and his dog, Marty, evacuated their home on Bolivar Peninsula and waited it out in High Island last night. We waited till the last minute like a lot of folks do. As the hours passed, the stretch of road separating him from his home, Highway 87, became impassable with debris and large rock from the Gulf washing onto the roadway. We were here around 6 o'clock this morning when tech stock crews arrived with machinery to remove it. Uh, they were up bright and early doing it. They were up bright and early getting it. Rieger was one of the first to return home. Looks like everybody fared out real good. As he assessed his property. It didn't surprise surprised me any to see where the water's standing here, you know, back bay being right back down at the end of the road. Grateful for minimal water, no damage, and a home to come back to. So Highway 87 has reopened, but something else important to note, the Bolivar Galveston Ferry has also reopened. That happened around 1020 this morning. Reporting live, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Brittany, thank you for the